Good morning, dear viewers. It's time for another death battle reaction. This one is Iron Fist versus Poe the Kung Fu Panda uh, from the movie series. Um, always check out the original content and source material before you see anything of mine. And um, going into this fight, it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't go with Shang-Chi in this matchup. Not because... I mean, for several reasons. First off, I want to see Shang Chi get his complete ass headed to him uh, by a panda. Seeing how funny that would be, seeing a uh, the animal representation of China beating out like a Chinese martial artist, I think that'd be hilarious. But um, uh, both also knowing kung fu. It'd be a matter of which one can do it better. So, um, in terms of this fight, I'm not sure. Um, I've only seen one of the Kung Fu Panda movies. And, um, I know a little bit about Iron Fist, uh, from my time, from my extent with, uh, Marvel Comics. So, um, I'm going to have to see what the analysis says. But, um, having said all of that, let's get to this. This episode of Death Metal is sponsored by Adam and Eve. What's better than free stuff? Nothing! Well, there is one thing. Free stuff to spice things up in the bedroom. Fair point. And if that sounds good to you, head over to adamandeve.com, because we've got one heck of a deal for you today. I don't have that kind of life, death battle. I don't have that kind of sex life. Aww. You'll get something for him, something for her, and something for the both of you. And you'll get six free movies. You know what I mean. And free shipping. Use the offer code BATTLE, B-A-T-T-L-E. You're advertising to a death battle audience battle. Who do you think actually has that kind of life? Danny Rain, Marvel's immortal Iron Fist. And Poe, the chosen Kung Fu Panda. The way of Kung Fu can be full of hardship, but these two unlikely masters have shown that with the right training and determination, anyone can walk the path of the Dragon Warrior. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Every ten years in the mountains of Tibet, the mystical lost city of Kunlun will appear, forever guarded by a legendary warrior, the Iron Fist. Naturally, one of the Iron Fist's former apprentices, Wendell Rand, thought... I should really bring my wife and kid to visit the Kung Fu Super City. Best family vacation ever! But not so naturally, Wendell's business partner tagged along, Harold Meacham, who, surprise, had less than noble intentions. So he Wendell was sent off a cliff and his son Danny start. won the tragic Once backstory lottery when his mom died protecting him from wolves. Never trust a Harold, folks. Danny survived and was adopted by the people of Kung Lu. Within the city's walls, he spent his formative years tirelessly training in pursuit of revenge. He's mastered judo, muay thai, aikido, pressure points, pretty much every cool fighting style around. He also gained a Suck weird habit of shouting, Heart of the Dragon, whenever he's surprised. <laughs> oh, you know that guy's got at least like six silk dragon shirts in his closet. That would be interesting foreshadowing. For when Danny turned 19, he had the chance to become the next Iron Fist. But he had to overcome one final challenge. The immortal dragon, Shu Lao. And like a badass, Danny walked up to Shu Lao's front door. Then, get this, bear hugged the dragon until it fell unconscious. Netting Danny a sweet chest tattoo and the chance to plunge his hands deep into the dragon's boomstick. What? I was gonna say the creepy cauldron holding its heart. What are you thinking? Uh, this act infused Chu Lao's chi with Danny's, making him the newest, the immortal Iron Fist. With his newfound power, Iron Fist did what any vengeful orphan would, and left for the to track down the bastard actually. who killed his parents. However, when he found Harold, all the Iron Fist saw was a broken man. So, he spared him, casting aside his past anguish to become a hero. Oh, great. Another lesson about how revenge is bad and all that crap. Wiz, when I find those chickens that did it, my grandpappy, make sure I finish the job. I'll put it on my calendar. Thanks to his friend, Luke Cage, Iron Fist was able to reconnect with the real world and co-found a team, the Heroes for Hire. And when he won 
wasn't superheroing, Iron Fist was actually a pretty good dude who used his money to start a soup kitchen. Because he's yet another superhero who is secretly a millionaire by inheritance. Together, the Heroes for Hire fought many villains, like Incinerator, Master Khan, and the White Man. Hell yeah! Down with the establishment, Danny! No, I probably thought <laughs> a mob boss actually named White Man. Well, Whitey better watch out, because Iron Fist isn't just a fancy title. Danny can harden his fist on impact, hypnotize his foes, accelerate his healing, make close-range Kamehameha kabooms, and even a giant energy dragon. Look at it. Many of these so, powers were learned yeah, we the got the Iron uh, Fist, Iron Fist the here and held by every pass yet Iron Fist. Disney Maybe thought Shang-Chi was a good idea. Dimensions back to Kunlun. Yeah, that's cool and all, but why does he wear ballet slippers? Yellow dance shoes don't exactly strike fear into the enemy, you know? They're Tai Chi's shoes, pretty standard. Anyway, Iron Fist can absorb not just Chi, but all manner of naturally occurring power, like electromagnetism. Yeah! Oh, so that's why he wears the slippers. Danny can react in a microsecond, punch apart a hammer helicarrier, and has delivered strikes comparable to hydrogen bombs. And being the Iron Fist, he is also one of the most martially skilled heroes in all of Marvel. This guy can go toe to toe with Boy Scout super soldiers like Captain America and the friendly neighborhood light dodging Spider Man. He even defeated the evil demon Mara. No, no, not the ball demon. I'm talking about the bull demon. And after absorbing enough electromagnetic energy, he punched apart this train, surviving the resulting explosion that had enough force to, and I quote, make Hiroshima look like a sparkler. Um, not so sensitive analogy aside, it's clear Iron Fist's fist. Glove, cl closed hand has some serious power. One time, he took in the chi of all the people of Kunlun to become this rad kung fu skeleton man. Watch out, he's got a bone to pick with crime. All to fight an eldritch terminator called The One, who Danny had previously defeated. Wish you really need to work on words better. Anyway, after Iron Fist threw the nameless robot off a cliff, it found Danny Wendy himself and decided, Hey, I should really take this guy's head and plop it onto my body. What the f***? Who wrote this? Schrodinger's dad aside, Iron Fist is one of the deadliest Marvel heroes out there. No matter the challenge, he will always be there to keep the balance between Kun Lu and the outside world. Turn the Iron Fist. And no one can take that from me. Not even you. Yeah! I knew they wouldn't show any of the Netflix stuff. Legend tells of a dragon warrior so skilled and deadly in martial arts that his foes would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. A fighter of unrivaled power, wisdom, and rotundity. This is Zhao Po Ping, a panda born in the Valley oh. of Peace. For the longest time, this valley was in, Jack Black. well, peace. But everything changed when Gary Oldman the Peacock and his army attacked. Lord Shen received a prophecy saying his conquest would be stopped by a warrior of black and white, a panda. So, in a fit of paranoia, Shen decided to genocide every panda in existence, forcing Poe's mom to part with her baby as he moses away in a radish box. Jeez, we got real dark with the sequel, huh? After some obligatory trauma, Poe was taken in by a literal father goose named Ping. With his expert guidance, Poe trained day and night to be a waiter at a noodle restaurant. Not the hardline warrior life I was expecting. It was posed. I think I kind of see where this fight might be going. He idolized all things kind like of as, as far as to make action figures of his heroes, the Furious Five. <laughs> Nerd. However, he never expected to have the chance to actually explore that dream until the day of the dragon ceremony. Where Master Uwe would select the day a chosen of the one dragon to lead a new ceremony. era of Kung Fu as the Dragon Warrior. And to the shock of everyone, Master Uwe chose him! Talk about a freak accident. There are no accidents, Boomstick. Despite some setbacks, Poe was actually quite gifted. He just needed the right motivation. A carrot on a stick. Or more accurately, a dumpling. Next to the Furious yep. Five, Poe experienced I've the seen classic the first Shaolin one. animal styles, which are actual practice martial arts. Tiger style uses ferocious combos. Monkey style has unpredictable acrobatics. Mantis style uses fast strikes. Viper style implements fluid movement. And Crane style is all about sweeping hits. But none of them suited Poe, so he made his own. You guessed it, Panda style. Which is sort of inspired by the real world Dragon style, but mostly based around using his roundness for defense. 
wearing down enemies until he gets an opening. His body can stop just about anything. Falls, pressure point attacks, and even a clock to the face. When he isn't overwhelming you with his pure fatness, Poe can launch a Hadouken with a thundering wind hammer, immobilize foes with a paralyzing shoulder touch, and blind you with the Golden Lotus Clap! Oh god, it's like looking into the sun! But you have to be careful or you could blind yourself with it. What? Why wasn't that at the beginning of the instructions? I never saw Poe do this in the movies! Poe has been in much more than movies, like TV shows, where he picked up a lot of new powers, such as the hero's I, sheet, I a life force passed on to a chosen show. every generation. This shonen power-up lets Poe counter mind control, shoot beams of energy, and make a giant dragon construct that devours pretty much anything. And of course, okay. possessing the hero's chi makes Poe comparable to the previous owners of it. Including the Black Tortoise, who was powerful enough to stop this huge meteor from hitting Earth. Poe even defeated this dude who would absorb the collective chi of the greatest fighters across China. Poe's achievements gave him the admiration of his peers, but his journey to becoming a legend wasn't easy. Yeah, big shocker, the orphan panda dragon warrior raised by a goose in a noodle shop had a bit of an identity crisis. But through it all, Poe proved he can hang with the best of them. He can evade lightning blasts, chuck a hammer into low orbit, and once cleared an entire cloud formation with just the flex of his pinky. This is his signature technique, Did the Wuxi finger hole. A move that warps anyone caught in it to the spirit realm. A.K.A. the afterlife. No, really, characters who have canonically died can be found here. And even should Poe be unable to complete the hold, he can always use it on himself to bring his target to the spirit realm with him. But despite the spirit realm being the afterlife and all that, death isn't always permanent. I mean, thanks to Poe's chi mastery, he can travel back home no problem. And eventually, he overcame the tragedy of his past and found his inner peace. In this state of mind, Poe has an immense Who's amount of focus, hold? enough to catch cannonballs. A trick that proved handy when it came time to defeat that asshole Gary Oldman who killed his mom. You show him, Jack Black. Er, no, Poe. Poe now stands ready to teach the next generation, alongside his original father, who apparently survived, head and all. What a nice ending. After mastering Chi, returning from the spirit realm, and saving all of China, Poe has finally realized who he truly is. I am the Dragon Warrior. Get it? Was he the giant dragon? <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Run the data of all possibilities. Mm, but first, Galen, if you like cool, think goofy cartoons like Kung Fu Panda, check out Bruce Murphy's new show, uh, Neon Convenience. Tougher? I mean, like, he's a lot more... He has more endurance. Last night when you encounter enemies, you're going in the right direction. Freeze! Drop the blades! Fire a warning shot. What the shit was that? I think uh, Iron Fist hit. technically hey, has more training on his belt. Win. We're in my view! Get roasted! <gasps> you're all my good boys and girls! Are you okay? Okay, I'm gonna start. Oh, for f***ing sake! You're my only son, don't dad me! An angel hamster wants your aid because Strat is an asshole. Have I convinced anyone? <laughs> you ruined my business. Up top. Down low. Oh, too slow. So that's what it feels like. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Hmm. Have to check that out. Oh, so it's not going to start out at a soup kitchen or something. Wow! That was awesome! You were like, ah, and then went, Sata Bowie! Who are you? <laughs> I am the dragon. Ooh, no way! Me too! Do you want us to bar? With you? <laughs> All right, buddy. Show me what you got. Oh, oh how yeah, friendly. may the best dragon win! Like I said, I think Iron Fist has more experience. I have strike. But I think Poe is able to would be able to endure a lot. Focus. You 
ESG too? Interesting. So I like the sprite animation for Poe. That's very fluid. How about we both stop holding back? <laughs> I love this. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> kind of like this. What are you doing? Oh, you know this whole thing. Um, no. Oh, well, uh, you're about to learn it. this nice view huh <laughs> go to yeah you the power of cheese okay now they're ramping things up a bit yeah you to feel the thunder mark the dragon he's still fighting spirit of the dragon let me your power And then we would get like a dragon fight like that. Yep. results seem far-fetched, but look at it this way. Poe's entire style is about taking hits from faster opponents until he gets his opening, making this the exact kind of match he would excel in. Not to mention, Poe's Wuxi finger hold was an instant win, right? Well, kind of. As long as Danny had the Book of the Iron Fist, he could theoretically make a portal out of the spirit realm, assuming Poe didn't eat him first. And remember, after coming to terms with his conflicting emotions and returning from the spirit realm, Poe had gained true mindfulness. Not unlike the path to enlightenment taken to achieve Nirvana. Man, that's some heavy stuff for a cartoon bear voiced by Jack Black. This sort of implies Poe can move between the mortal realm and the afterlife at will, making it questionable if death by conventional means even matters to him, crazy as it sounds. And anyway, against Poe's wow. overwhelming toughness, counters, and Poe work, Iron Fist wasn't putting him down in the first place. He just didn't have the stomach to bear it. The winner is Poe. Claps of Poe. 
I'm glad. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. Come back next week to see what it's not for like a strong iron. If you want to watch more stuff, click the boxes right around here, and you can always pick up some TV merch at store.roosterteeth.com. It was a very good fight. Okay, next time. Steven Universe. Uh, I, Star Butterfly. I've actually, truth, never seen either of these shows. Never. Um, so I have no judgment on it. Um, I know of them. I know about some of it. But I've never watched them. Like, not actually sat down and watched them. I know there's a huge fandom for both of these characters and, um, there's probably going to be some kind of civil war after the results are in. Um, but that's later. Um, but I thought this fight was very good. I thought the animation was very well done. Um, I thought the... I just thought this was a lot of fun. Um, but what did y'all think? I hope I didn't bore you. I hope you had a good time like I did. And um, I'm debating whether or not to actually watch the next one because, again, I have no stake in it. I've seen neither of these characters in action. Um, but I hope y'all have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you next time whenever that might be.